Hi. And thank you for coming for this interview. Oh, hi. I'm I'm Lauren. All right. Let's begin. Okay. If someone was to give you an elephant and you cannot sell it or give it away, what do you do with the elephant? Okay. Um well, I think elephants are really cool, so I probably want to ride it to work every day. Why do you believe manholes are round? I don't know if I've ever thought about manholes and their shape, but I guess I always thought that they, well, round makes sense. Uh, tunnels are round, um, and, and, and that makes the lids all universal. If you were to be a tree, what kind of tree would you be and why? I would have to say a maple because I, well, love syrup. Syrup is amazing. And they're so colorful in the fall. Very interesting. All right. Um, you've been shipwrecked on a deserted island, but all your human needs are met. What two items do you bring with you? If all my needs were met, then I guess I'm going to bring my laptop with a some sort of battery that will never die and my sketchbook if you could choose just one song to play when you enter a room for the rest of your life what song would it be and why the dance of the macabre because it's different and um it's not necessarily a happy song but it doesn't have any lyrics, so I don't think I'd get tired of it so fast. But it's got an air of creepy and mystery to it, and I just think it's a really neat song. What do you believe your eulogy will say about you? I have never actually really considered what my eulogy might say, but I hope it says something a lot better than she tried. Thank you. How would you sell hot chocolate? in the middle of summer in Florida. Well, besides the fact that I think Florida is hot all year round, um, I think I would just make it peppermint hot chocolate because peppermint is naturally cooling. If you were to pick just one fictional character, which one would you identify with most and why? Would pick Juliet from Wool, um, a book called Wool, because she is feisty and she definitely knows how to get things done. Um, and she knows what she's good at. And so when she's thrusted into a new sphere, she goes and learns everything she possibly can. And then she, obviously there's a whole lot to the story, but she's one of those kind of people who's really intelligent and everyone kind of always overlooks her. And, but actually she's like brilliant and the best main character ever. Okay, moving along. What do you believe the color of money is? Since money is based off the gold system, um, you know, like real gold, I would say that money should actually be gold. And last question, how would you describe the color red? to someone who is blind. Red is a color that's um, it's warm and it's passionate. Um, sometimes people think of it as angry, but I tend to associate red more with um, more positive emotions like love. Thank you. You're welcome.